Good evening, Wise Magodi. I hope you are well and safe. I hope I do have sound on the other side. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, sorry, just think there is a bit of a connection issue, but not really a connection. I think it's just the screen that was not showing properly. Um, you are all welcome. Uh, everyone that has already connected. We are now going to open um, this session with a word of prayer. If you can join me in opening this session with a word of prayer, let us just go all pray right now. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, we come before your throne, your throne of grace. We thank you, we honor you, we adore you. We exalt your name this evening. We say, Lord, let only your name be glorified, not our names. For whatever that we're gonna be doing in this session, we believe that your presence is here with us. Holy Spirit, we cannot continue without your presence. We need your presence because where your presence is, there is liberation. Where your presence is, there is healing. Where your presence is, there is joy. And we believe that your presence is here with us tonight in this session of the Wise Magoti War Room. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. Amen and amen. Amen. Wow, wow, wow. What a lovely, wonderful day. I always look forward to this day, to be honest with you, to the Thursday, where I know that we are joining hands to pray together, where I know that we are fasting. I'm not fasting alone. I have other women out there that are fasting with me, where I know that we pray and we move mountains and things do happen. Thank you for all the testimonies that we receive every day. We say glory be to Jesus, not to any one of us. We are just the vessels that come together and pray together. Tonight, before we pray, I just want us to uh, talk about the what but this week, I know some <laughs> some wise Makotis were saying, "Hey, wise Makoti, hi, you are really killing us this week." And to be honest with you, I do not come up with the topics myself, but the Holy Spirit reveals to me. Uh, this just just please. I think I don't know if she's in the kitchen multitasking. Please uh, just mute your uh, mm -hmm. microphone there uh, where you are just mute your microphone if there is noise uh, in your background thank you um i see it says my connection is very unstable i hope it's not gonna do what it did the other week where it kept disconnecting me uh i pray that i don't get disconnected today so the topic for this week, I think, is more about just equipping us as women, as wise Makotis, that, you know, we cannot have so many expectations in, in the marriage. You expect marriage to change your life. You expect marriage to bring, a, to bring you wealth or to bring you a good life. Hmm? We never got married so that we can have a good life. We got married so that we can have companionship. So it means all the other things, we are also responsible for it. As much as we've got so many expectations from our husbands, they also have expectations from us as their uh, wives that we will be able to help them, even financially, yes. 
And at times we are doing it just for us as well, for ourselves, just so that, you know, you, there are things that you will want as a woman and you cannot even buy yourself a packet of pets because you always have to ask. You cannot buy yourself underwears because you always have to ask your husband. And at times you find that he's swamped with everything that is happening at home. He must take care of people, children, take care of everything, which just becomes overwhelming. But if we are out there and we are also looking at the opportunities which we can find as women, we are able to help each other as couples. We are able to help each other with our husbands. And I think the story that we read in the Bible uh, during the week, and um, somebody says they don't have sound. Uh, can somebody just help them? I see they are on Zoom. So what I was saying is, um, uh, okay, can somebody just help this uh, lady that is struggling with the sound? See, she even sent it on the, on the phone here. So what I was saying is we need to be equipped we need to go out there. We've read stories the whole week about the rich women that are in the Bible. So it means the Bible is actually telling us that women are not meant to just be dependent on men. Women are not meant to be beggars because when we read the Bible, we're reading about women that were wealthy, women that were in high positions, like if we speak about Deborah, who was a judge, we, we speak about the Proverbs 31 woman who was never lazy, who was always out there working. And when we look at uh, 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 the widow that was being helped, but the widow that was being helped by Elisha, that story really saddens me that after the husband has passed on, she cannot even do anything for herself. She cannot even take care of her own children. Her own children were threatened to be taken away. And really it's, it's just so sad that it means she was not able to do anything for herself. She was not financially stable herself. She was dependent. She was part of the children. We know that children are dependent to us. So it means she was also dependent to her husband. So as women, let's stand up, let's stand up. Opportunities are there out there. If you didn't finish school, go and finish school. Enroll, enroll with whatever uh, uh, institution, Tamelin and make sure that you get your metric and make sure that you, you get your certificate so that when you go out there, you are marketable. And also the other thing is, uh, if there are opportunities for businesses, what is it that you are good at? What is it that you can do? That's why Elisha couldn't work for the widow for, with anything that is not there. He had to ask her, what is it that you have in the house? So now I'm asking you, Wes Makoti, what is it that you have there with you? Something that you don't even have to go and look for. Maybe something that you can do with your hands. Maybe you are good with hair. Maybe you are good with makeup. Something that you are doing even for, uh, uh, on yourself. I remember there was a lady, I would always say, you are so good with the makeup. Why don't you start you know, doing, uh, doing the makeup on other people. And now she is doing even celebrities because of something that she couldn't even identify herself that she has it in her, she can do it. She couldn't identify that. There's so much noise in the background. I'm not sure who is it. That is uh, noise. Uh, Ayabonga. I'm not sure if it's you. you can mute yourself. I can't even mute you from this side. Ayabonga. Okay. Okay, it's quiet now. So what uh, I was actually saying is there must be something that you have which God can use. 
maybe is talking, whatever that it is. Don't just sit and say there is no job. Look around. And tonight we are going to pray that God will open our eyes so to see opportunities. We need our eyes opened so that we can be able to see those opportunities. Opportunities that are just there around us. Opportunities which can uh, make us have a better life tomorrow. Something that is within you or with you or something that you are good at. Everyone is born with a talent. There is no one that is born without a talent. You have a talent. Maybe you just have not recognized it as a talent. Maybe you might have seen it as a, a what is it, a weakness. A talent can be something that can uh, uh, present itself as a weakness. Like somebody like me, I can make an example with myself that I grew up talking a lot, talking too much, and the this child talks too much. And I will even pray and say, Lord, make me not to talk too much. Make me not, not to talk too much. I don't want to talk too much. I didn't know that was actually a gift for me to go out there and be able to talk. Look, today I'm sitting here talking to you because that is a talent that God has granted me to be able to talk, to enjoy talking. Other people I'm sure can say, I don't enjoy talking because that is not their talent. So we can go out there and actually look at what is it that the Lord has actually given you. Uh, I'm losing my connection. I just lost my connection. Um, no, it was my site. It was on my side. I'm the one that lost signal. Let me try and use a different connection. Uh, where do I get my connection now? I want to try and use a different connection because I see it keeps telling me that um, my network connectivity is uh, very poor. I hope you will be able to see me now. I'm just gonna disconnect the other connection. I hope it doesn't disconnect our connection. Okay. Hopefully I'm not gonna lose connection again. So I would like us, yeah, let's just make sure that we are on mute, especially during the message so that we are not uh, dis disturbing. So I'm just gonna quickly go and read um, uh, Second Kings chapter four, one to seven. One day the widow of one of the Lord's prophets said to Elisha, you know what, uh, you know that before my husband died, he was a follower of yours and a worshiper of the Lord but he owed a man some money and now that man is on his way to take my sons my two sons as his slaves maybe there is something i can do to help elisha said what do you have in your house i think i don't even want to go anywhere further what do you have in your house what is it that you have? What is it that you, you can use? Maybe you are sitting there with the voice. Maybe you can sing. Maybe you should have been having a CD by now. Maybe you should have been an actress. Maybe you should have been doing something else. Maybe you should have been a model. There should be something that the Lord has given you. What is it that you have? in your house. That's what God is asking tonight. What is it that you have? Because he's going to use exactly that to help you. Maybe you are just lazy, but very good academically. Maybe you should have been called a doctor by now. What is it that you have which can take you from one level to another? Let us look in, 
look within ourselves. Tonight, I want us to pray. And when we pray, I want us to pray for ourselves, to pray that the Lord will help us to look within, to pray that the Lord will open our eyes, to see opportunities that are there for us as women, opportunities that are there out there, and not just sit and be lazy and watch TV the whole day. Or if you are waking, you just come back, you say you are tired, you watch TV, when there is a lot you can do as a woman. Let's go out there and show that Abu Wais Magoti, there is a lot that they can do as well. We are not just married women and everywhere you go, you present yourself with your husband's name that I'm so-and-so's wife, the doctor so-and-so's wife, or the judge so-and-so's wife, or the businessman so-and-so's wife. You can go out there and present yourself as yourself, as you, because you would have made it also in life. I want us to go and pray. Elisha helped the widow and God can help us tonight. God can help us to tell us what is it that we can do as women? What is it that we can do out there? You need to shine wherever you are. Don't allow yourself to be uh, crowded in whatever, whether it's a position, whether it's at work, you are crowded, you are not even a, a noticed you are not out there your talent must open a way for you that's what we are going to pray for we are also going to pray as we have requested that those that have uh, that requires the fruit of the womb should join us tonight because we serve a mighty god we serve a god that all things are possible with him. And the same God that all things are possible with him, he is here tonight. He is here tonight and he is going to show himself strong. And I want us to believe when we pray. Let us believe, let us not go to God with what we've been told by doctors. I want us to go to God and go to him knowing that he is able to do everything. Let's go to God knowing that only him. I'm just trying to open, uh, just lost my Bible here. So that we can just read a verse that shows that our God That shows that our God can do everything. And this story comes from Hannah. Hannah refused to remain barren. Why is Magoti? Some of the situations we are in, maybe you are not even barren physically, but you are barren spiritually. You are barren in what you should have been bearing fruits on. Some of these things, we allow them by just relaxing and saying, I'll wait for God to respond. Hannah was always going with the family to pray once a year. She was going there all the time. But for some reason, she has, we never read that she was going to the temple and crying before God. Only that one time when, when she got there, she decided to go to the temple and prayed to God. And when she prayed to God, God heard her. She cried before God. She was tired. She said, I cannot take this anymore. I want to see God in my situation. Tonight, you can go before God and say, I want to see God in my situation. Is enough is enough. Hannah was saying, enough is enough. Enough 
is enough. I will not take this anymore. I want us to read Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, which says, Jesus looked at them and said, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. My dear sisters, with men, this is impossible. With men, your barrenness is impossible to bear children. It's impossible to have children. Maybe you were told that there is no way you will have a child. There is no way, no way, no way that you will be able to have a child. Wise Makoti, I want you to believe in the word of God this evening that nothing is impossible with God. That whatever that doctors could have said that this is impossible. Yes, we believe it is impossible with men, but with our God, all things are possible. It is possible with our God. Our prayers are gonna be heard tonight. We are gonna have a testimony here. Babies are coming and they are coming in number. Wombs are going to be opened tonight. Barrenness is going to be the end for it tonight. Holy Spirit is here. He's coming where you are right now. He's opening wombs. He is here. He is here. I want you to stop saying it will happen when God wants it to happen. Today, I want you to sing the scripture that says you will give me the desires of my heart. And if the desires of your heart is to have children, God is going to grant that to you tonight. We are standing with you in prayer. We are standing with you in prayer. We are standing with you in prayer. And we are believing God for a miracle. I know there is a number of them that have locked in here tonight who are standing here with you in prayer. Some of them have children, but they just said they are coming into this session to stand with you in prayer. So why is Makoti, you are not alone. If your prayer, you feel, you feel your prayer is not enough, there are otherwise Makotis that are praying for you. Things are going to happen. Things are going to happen because with God, all things are possible. Things are going to happen. Chains are going to be broken tonight. I don't know what chains, I don't know what padlock has locked your womb. We are opening all the wombs tonight. We are opening them with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that is not defeated by anything is coming into your womb right now. Is opening it, is removing the barrenness, is opening so that it can be fruitful. Your womb will be fruitful. Your womb will be fruitful. Your womb your womb will be fruitful. Your womb will bear children. You shall not be called with that shame anymore. That shame is gone. He's replacing the shame with double honor. There is double honor in this presence right now. There is double honor that is going to fall upon you. Your shame is going to be replaced. Your shame is going to be replaced. You are going to have double honor. Double honor, double honor. You will be honored. You will not be called with names anymore. You will be called with mamas mama. You will not be called with other names that people are calling you right now. 
You will be called with a name that glorifies God. Hallelujah. The Lord is here and he's going to do great things. We are going to uh, disconnect the recording now because we are going to go into prayer. 